You're watching Texas Gun Blog, and today we are looking at a Rome RG23 German six shot 22 long rifle revolver. Uh, to put it plainly, the Rome series revolvers are generally referred to as Saturday night specials, uh, cheapies, throwaway guns, etc. Uh, but there are a, a plethora of Rome collectors out there. And for whatever reason, uh, they seem to usually fetch um, a little more on auction than you would think. A uh, little bit about Rome. Uh, they often referred to simply as RG. Rome is a German brand of firearms and related shooting equipment company. Since 2010, uh, Rome is now a brand name of Umarex. They've been bought out. Uh, but in the early 1950s, Rome... Um, which is traditionally focused on the production of chucking tools, diversified its product line and began to produce alarm guns, flare guns, and handguns. Rom's product line of firearms was primarily established under the brand name RG. In 2010, the management of Rome decided to, to sell the complete manufacture of firearms to Umarex and then refocus on its core market of chucking tools which they continue to produce today. Police officer Thomas Delante was shot by John Hinckley Jr. with the Rome revolver during his failed assassination attempt of Ronald Reagan. This is probably one of uh, the main reasons why there's Rome collectors out there. It was a significant event related to the particular pistol and, and kind of brought it out into light a little bit. Um, Delahanty later sued Rome with the argument that small cheap guns have no purpose except for crime and thus that the company should be held responsible. This suit was subsequently rejected by the District of Columbia Court of Appeals in a suit that has served as a case law for other similar uh, product liability cases. So that in itself, I don't want to say popularized uh, the Rome series of revolvers because there never really have been popular in a sense but it did spawn off some collectors um, they're definitely a, a series of pistol that are very inexpensive and so if you're the kind of person that uh, wants to get into uh, collecting a complete line and not spend a whole bunch of money these would be for you uh, they're a little tricky to work on but there's a lot of parts diagrams out there and there's a lot of parts that you can find available so we, if you have any questions for us about this, you can contact us at texasgunblog.com. As always, thank you so much for watching our videos, and please remember to subscribe.